So I found a Michaels, and I'm just kind of wandering around the store. I found a t-shirt though. It's it's pretty good price. I might buy it because I need to use it. I need a t-shirt. There's some spray paint over here. And this one's a nice, this one's a nice black. Might use that. I found some acrylics over here. that I might use, or at least keep in mind, so I can use it. I don't think I'm ready to buy paint yet, though. I don't know, I just kind of walked in here, I'm like, oh, I found a Michaels, let's walk in. Didn't really come in here with a plan. So, I think I'm gonna buy the shirt, because why not? If I don't like it, I can return it, but I at least need a shirt, so. And it's raining a lot. It's pretty bit, but that's okay. What did I buy? I bought, can't do this, with two hands, I bought a t-shirt, I bought the t-shirt, I also bought this yellow bandana because I might be able to use it for lining of the t-shirts, and then I bought some painter's tape because I'm going to need that for when I'm painting stuff, and if I don't need this I'll just return it so it's good. Made it to the thrift store, it's still raining. Hopefully I can find something good and decent and usable in there. I have a lot of clothes that I need to, you know, hopefully not make. <laughs> uh. back outside. I bought some pants. What did I buy? Bought some pants and then like a little ball thing. A little puzzle ball. But I had to because I didn't have any cash and I needed a five dollars on my card so I was trapped in the thrift store. But now we're good. And it's still raining a lot. It's been on and off for a bit. 
It's just, it's wet today. It's very wet. My shoes are not waterproof enough for all this water. I'm gonna step in it and then my, <laughs> my sock is gonna be wet. It's not okay. I'm back at Michael's. I have a slightly better idea of what I need to buy. So hopefully this is gonna turn out better than before. Cause that would be nice. Cause I need a lot of stuff to be able to do this cosplay. I'm done with my errand for the morning and it's been pretty rough getting here because I'm like 40 minutes late because of traffic and I got lost because I don't know where I am. I know where I am but I didn't know how to get here. But no, it's off to get, see if I can find any more clothes. Gonna stop by Steinmart and like a few thrift store, or at least a thrift store, see what I can find on the way home. And then we're just gonna organize today. This is nice. It's a nice day out today. At least it's nice weather to drive in. Flowers are looking nice. Made it to Steinmart. It's behind that tree. You can't see. It's there. I don't think it's open yet. I think it opens in a couple minutes. But there's some nice birds over here. So I'm probably trying to watch them. Oh, there's one. All the way over there. So I got some nice time to kill. Watching some birds. Figuring out what I'm going to do today. There it is. It's a loud little bird. And it's open. And here we go.
leaving the store. Didn't really find anything to use for cosplay. Found some personal things, but I'm gonna try a thrift store on the way home. And if we don't find anything there, well, I'll, I'll keep trying, but most likely what's gonna happen is that I'll have to buy it off of Amazon or we're gonna improvise. So pro tip, if the season of your cosplay does not match the season of your convention, then shop early and plan earlier than I have. Alright, found the thrift store. Maybe we can get something at the thrift store that I can use. If not, we're just gonna wing it and buy stuff off of Amazon. I'm a bit of a dumb and I don't carry cash so I had to run to the bank to get cash just to pay for the nice things I found in the thrift store so now we're on our way back to the thrift store continue on Creedmore Road for one mile so we can go buy the things for cosplay because I actually found things that's usable I just didn't have cash oh how life is grand Life is grand. At least it's a nice drive between here and the bank, between the donation center and the bank. All right, I made it back. I got my clothes. I got I got a vest. I got this little vest, and then I got another jacket, and then I got another jacket, and it's all good. And always get another pro tip for the day. Bring cash to thrift stores. Or just in general, cash is good to have. Alright, after multiple days of shopping, I have materials. I have materials for all of the cosplays. And we can actually start work on this. At least hopeful, hopefully do a decent job of trying to make cosplay. But right now, we're going to do a cosplay run through. And I'll go through the cosplays that I already have, like Paps, the, the, my normal Paps, and then Swap, uh, no, Underfell Paps, and then I have Swap Paps as well. So I'll, I'll run through all the cosplays that I actually have, and then for the ones that I'm going to wake on, you guys can guess while I'm waking on them, because that's the fun of it. Which, I mean, if I'm doing a good job if you can guess what my cosplay is. So let's go through the cosplays. Alright, so for good old classic here, see we got the scarf. And stuff it's just like a little silk scarf is what I use. Undyne actually got gave this to me at Anime Fest when I got there. I had a different scarf. I had what did I have? 
I had this scarf. You can see it's a bit more like wool. It's a more wool and this one's more silk. And I like the silk one better. It's a lot wider in range. So it's it's just, it's a better scarf. So then we have my, ba uh, my battle body and stuff. Part of the plan is that I'd like to line this with actual fabric. Currently it's just painted and pinned up, which does not make for good washing. Um, so I'd like to line it with fabric. That is not one of the high priorities though. That's if I have time. Uh, priority on paps is that I need to re-sew his glove. His glove, his glove, this needs to be re-sewn because, well, you can see it's ripped and I can't have that. And I need to touch up. Excuse me, burger pants. Yeah, okay, to touch up his skull here. A little bit of white is just, you know, just little bits of white in areas. Burger pants, please. Please. And then I have to refurbish the jaw. Reinforce the jaw. Because it's a bit flimsy. It's a bit flimsy. And I need a strong jaw because my bone needs to be strong. My, my bones are strong. I need to drink more milk while I'm doing this. I'm going to have some milk. And then probably just like, you know, repaint that as well. But that needs to be done. And that's the most important part. Uh, then we got my boots here. I, I don't know what type of boots they are. They're just boots. Apparently Undyne has the same boots as me. She just has a yellow strip right here. And this is my face mask. It's like one of those little mini turtleneck things. That you flip over. Yeah. I just it's, I, it's just a face mask. And little cuffs with my gloves. Because they're not attached. It's not, No, this is like a sweatband. And this is my actual glove. But, you know, it works. It works pretty well when you wear them both together. Burger pants, why well, you gotta be in the bag? Um, and then as you can see, I, I, so last year I actually had, like, I wrapped this yellow fabric around a belt. A uh, gas to help me with that. And, but I don't have that belt anymore. I don't want to happen to it. It got packed a while ago. And so I just have the fabric. So usually I just wrap the fabric around my shorts and then I got some leggings because, oh yeah, and I see I got my leggings and I have a long sleeve shirt because this is my under armor for my battle body. And yeah, so usually I just wrap this around my, the belt loops and it's pretty good. And then I have this and I just la do a little knot thing right there to make it look like it's a belt. And I might do that again. I would like to actually hot glue that to a belt, but I don't know if I'm going to get to do that. The priority for Paps is I need to fix the skull and the glove. And that's really all I'm going to worry about for him at the moment. If I have time, I'll go back and line this and make an actual belt. But I don't know if I'm going to have time for that. Alright, next cosplay I did last year is the Bad Dude Underfell Papyrus. Alright, so some backstory on Bad Dude here is that I get, I get mixed uh, responses about how it's not actually Underfell. Uh, I saw a picture, which I'll put the picture up in the video, but I saw a picture of Underfell wearing the Cool Dude costume but it was underfell style. And at the time, I was debating whether I wanted to make uh, Papyrus's cool dude and bring that as a secondary costume or do underfell. And I didn't know what, but the armor intimidated me on underfell being the pretty much year one cosplayer I am. I'm still year one, maybe year one and a half this year. Uh, so I had the idea of I'll combine them and do the bad dude. So what I did is that I bought a white t-shirt. This is like the laughing, this is like the joke of our group. Because I bought a white t-shirt and I painted the whole thing black and red. No part, this was originally a white, you can see I was white right here. Yeah, this was a white t-shirt. But as you can tell, if you paint the whole thing, oh, shorts. You can tell if you paint the whole thing black and red with paint, it becomes quite stiff. 
uh, compared to normal sheets. So we call it the cardboard sheet because it's literally a plaque of a sheet and it's really difficult to get on and off. But it's my, honestly my favorite part of the cosplay that I've made. I love this sheet. The, I, the, I had basketballs for the sleeves and then I had a lot of fun with trying to block it. It's really difficult to block out um, triangles with masking tape. So that was really difficult. But I did, I just, I drew this up and I designed it. Like I added stuff, like I added the triangles and just the spikes to make it more under fell. And then, and then I did matching shoes, which see, look, we got some matching shoes and the spikes and I got more like little stripes on the front. Like little like $2 Hobby Lobby shoes. I need to, oh, this is on the to-do, is to re-sole these because if I'm gonna bring fell, which I might at least bring him for photo shoots, uh, I need to be able to walk around. So, yeah, it's just a cardboard shirt. So we have, we have the shirt, which, yeah, you know, it's, uh, we got the bad dude shirt. And what's also really funny is that on Underfell Day last year, we found, uh, we found a cool dude papyrus. So we have a, we had a bad dude and then we had a cool dude papyrus. So it worked out well. And then, uh, and I found some basketball shorts that were red on the side, so they work. And then I made some shoes. And then, since these are shorts, what we have, what I actually did was, hold on. What I did was I painted some socks to have bones on them. So if when you put them on your leg, it looks like a leg bone. And I see also a funny story with this is that I didn't finish this uh, before the convention. So I was literally up until like 2 a.m. Oops, 2 a.m. I'm doing these socks on like the Friday of the convention. So I didn't get a lot of sleep that much. But you know that's what happens. They let me. The group let me sleep in a bit just because they knew I was up late doing socks. So yeah. And then we have. And then we have over here is that I have this hat and it's it goes on backwards on Paps's head. Uh, for now, it's just on front. And what we do with the face is that uh, Undyne had some fake nails, which we stuck on to make the fangs, which I need to find because I need to make fangs again. And we just, we put some, we put some white tape and just drew eyebrows on it to give him more of a sinister look. And that's, that's how we did Underfell. Bad dude. Oh, and he, he wears the scarf. He gets the scarf too. The scarf works for him as well. All right, next up is Swap Paps, who was relatively easy compared to the other two cosplays that I just did. And all three of these I did last year. So we just, I found an orange sweatshirt. I think at Walmart, honestly, I think I found it at Walmart. Wait, what did it from Walmart? Either way, I found an orange sweatshirt. And then I just wear, I wear like a black tank top underneath of it. It doesn't have sleeves, so it's just, this it's it's a sleeveless black tank top underneath there we go see you can see that sort of i uh, just wear under that and i have some cargo pants and i already had these cargo pants so i just reused them and then you know he gets he gets some little fake smokes which these are thanks to sands i have these uh so we just kind of tape it to the skull and give him a little bit of a lazy look and then he also got his own shoes give me the shoe, to kind of match, uh, you know, match his orangeness. You know, I don't think, these don't really need to be resold. I kind of wanted to do, I did little stripes because I wanted to do like a gas blaster thing. So like he's firing a gas blaster. That's what it looks like. So it's like little X's and things. And it, this one, this was a simple shoe to paint. Compare it because I just had the block off because the shoes were white when I bought them. So again, <laughs> I just had the block off the white. And then like maybe I actually had to do touch-ups on the white, which is why I have some white paint over there. Uh, because the orange bled over. But other than that, it's a pretty clean paint. Unlike, you know, the underfell shoe. You know, I'm like the Underfell shoe, which is two colors, which is just difficult. I don't remember which color I did first, but whichever one I did first just made everything else difficult. 
I think, I honestly, I think I did the black first, which was a bad idea. I was supposed to do the red first. I don't know what I did first, but it just made, the shoe was difficult. I had to block out so much, and blocking out triangles with tape is not fun. Oh, no, I had to block out, oh, no, I did the black first, because I had to block out all, of, oops. I did the black first, because I had to block out all of the tri the red and the triangle shapes, which is really difficult to form with tape, and I just ended up having to paint it anyway, because it just, it bled over so much. But, yeah. So that's swap paps. Not really much. It's pretty easy. You know, he's really laid back like he normally is. Alright, so for new cosplay number one, uh, it's a lot of stuff. And so for this one, it's it's a little bit rocky. Um, what I at least know is that I'm going to use this little vest here. This little vest. And blue's going to help me sew some fur onto the top of this vest. So once I test out a few overlayings, I'll, I'll ship this off to Blue, for Blue to take care of. Uh, this vest is probably going to go over the hoodie, because I need, I need an undershirt for the vest, and it's a long sleeve undershirt. So I'm, I've, I'm trying to find an orange one, it's extremely difficult, because like I said earlier when I was shopping, if your cosplay is not the same season, season as your convention, plan and shop early because it's difficult. I have some other colors that I might try out as just to see if they work. It's not going to be an exact replica of the, I guess, character, the papyrus I'm cosplaying as, but we're going to try different things. So so far the idea is that I'm going to tuck the hood, I'm going to tuck the hood into the hoodie itself. And then it'll look like it's a it'll look like it's a turtleneck and not a hoodie, hopefully. And then I'll put this on top of it, which hopefully I'm not going to overheat too much at the convention. Um, and then we have some different cargo shorts that I have that I think suits the color palette better. And then over here we have some snow boots. And what I'm doing for the legs, um, I think I don't I think I'm gonna use the same the same bone socks the legs if not I'll just use the tights I have the the leggings I have for paps but I have these boots that I think I'm going to wear for now but I think it kind of goes together the boots are black well that's not black but I think that'll be okay regardless um so so far that's the solution this one's the most rocky but I think it's okay and then I bought some metallic gold paint because I have to do so, um, a little bit of, I have to make an attachment for little paps here that requires some gold paint. So you'll see that once I start trying to make it. That'll be fun. Guess on that. And then I still got the smokes because he's going to need some smokes with this one. Um, but other than that, that's the required list is I need, uh, I got to ship this off the blue to get some fur on it because I can't do that. And blue has fur. So blue's going to help me with that. And then I need to make an attachment with, out of gold and get some little sharp teeth because he needs some sharp teeth with this one. And so far that's the plan. Hopefully it'll go alright. Now we'll be changing that over the course of the next month as we make this. This will be fun. Now for the fifth cosplay that I have or I'm going to have once it's done. Which right now it is the most incomplete of the cosplays. Um, I found, so I found this on today, it's a red jacket, found that, and what I'm going to do with that is that I'm going to have to, I've got to pin up the sleeve to the elbow, I don't know if I want to cut it off per se, but I'm at least going to pin it to the elbow and make it look like it's cut off, and then we have, we have a black t-shirt underneath, which I have to roll up like uh, Paps' crop top, and then I have this one I have to line, I have to line this one with the yellow because I can't really paint this one yellow because I don't think yellow is going to show up on black like it did on white. So this one I have to paint and I might uh, paint a badge with the blue, but that's not going to be a necessity because I have to, it's going to be covered by the jacket. Um, Neck-wise, 
Uh, I need to buy another scarf that is the same color as this blue right here. So a bit of like a cyan, um, yes, cyan, cyan, cyan scarf is what I need to buy that. Which is gonna, I'm gonna get that off of Amazon as well as some different colored gloves. The cuffs I can use again, but I need to get some purple gloves. Uh, instead. So that will be off of Amazon and that'll be a mail time probably. Also I need to make a boot cover for this one because I, I have to also make a purple boot. So I have to get some, I have to measure this and go back to Michael's to get some purple fabric to make a line to pretty much make like a, a, a seat, no, sheath, yeah. Make a seat, oh geez, make a seat, seat, see, well, make a cover, there we go, uh, make a cover and put some elastic on the bottom of the cover, that way I can just put it on the boot. And then I'm going to add some black Velcro on that. And it's blue Velcro is going to go, the colors don't exactly match, so maybe I'll go back and try to get a better matching color before I do it, but the blue is going to go onto the pants with the velcro like uh, some pockets to give the appearance of pockets. Um, but the biggest part of this cosplay is I have to make under the mask because little paps here is going to need a lot more modification than just an attachment and some teeth changes. He needs to be black. And I'm not going to paint him black because I need him for the other four cosplays that I have. So I have to, we're going to paper mache another mask. And Undyne made this mask for me. So uh, it's going to be, if I didn't show you the one I already started. If I hadn't shown that in the vlogs. I started trying to make one uh, from a bowl. But I thought it was moldy. I don't think it's moldy. But I'm concerned it's going to get moldy. Plus it's too wide in my head. So what's going to happen... Is that we're gonna make? Uh, I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make a, a base out of cardboard with me taping it all together with this painter's tape because I heard that's good. And then we're gonna paint. We're gonna paper mache it, and then we're gonna paint it black. And also we. I got. And we're also gonna use the blue on it too. And then for the eyes. Because I got to be able to see, and I'm probably going to cut out a nose on it. Like, this one doesn't have a nose cut out. This one's just, it's just, uh, it's just kind of like, you know, um, I dug in there. Uh, I have some mesh. I got some white mesh and some purple mesh. Because it's two different types of mesh. And this is for the nose, actually, as well, which I didn't realize. Um, did I buy purple paint? I did not. It might be for the side of the mouth, too. I don't really know what I'm doing with that. Mesh is really difficult to find. Like, I don't know how people find it, and I don't know what I'm looking for. So this, it's like sparkly too, which kind of works for what I need it for. Um, so I don't really mind that it's sparkly. But this is a lot of mesh. I'm going to have mesh forever. But I need to get, the big thing is that I need to get some foam to put inside the eyes. And at least and put inside, like, on the, um, on the forehead and things, just to make it a bit more comfortable. And then figure out how to do the cheekbones. I'm not entirely sure how to do the cheekbones. But it's going to be interesting. And this is going to be the most time consuming thing probably. Mainly the mask. Which I don't know how to do. Which it's going to be an event to figure out how to do. I can do everything else with confidence. Or at least a little bit of confidence. Maybe not the boot. The boot's going to take a bit. But I can do the shirt because I've done the shirt. I can do that easily. I just have to buy stuff, like a scarf and then some gloves. But that, that's going to be the big thing. So it's, it's, it's a how to try to do rather than a how to do is how this works. This is not a tutorial. I'm just, this is, this is, this is not, a series of videos is not a tutorial on how to do cosplay. It's a how to try to do cosplay because I am by no means a professional or good at this. I bought some glue. I have some glue. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try like a water boiling formula, see how I like that. And then I'm also gonna try like diluting the glue and see which one I like better. I'm stockpiling paper too. So the good part about moving is that I have a lot of paper. Where's my paper? I have a lot of paper. 
to use for my paper mache. I also have cardboard. I had more paper. I had a whole box of paper from moving the kitchen. But sometime in the past 15 days of me starting the other skull and not working on it, it disappeared. Probably got recycled. But that's okay. We'll just deal with that paper. And if I need to, I'll buy some more paper. Hopefully not. Maybe I can just use like printer paper or something. I have no idea. But yeah, that's pretty much the cosplay rundown. Rundown. That is the to-do list. I ha This is the most on the to-do list. It's 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 daunting. It's like a two-page to-do list. But you know what? We'll it'll be okay. We'll we'll get through it. And hopefully these vlogs are gonna go up at a reasonable time. And you guys enjoy the vlogs. Uh, and they're probably gonna be on like a weekly basis, just because I don't think every day is gonna be that interesting. Because I don't, I'm, I'm not, I'm not. I don't work on this every day. I need to, and I probably will, considering the convention is this month. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much the cosplay to do. Have fun guessing what cosplay I'm doing as we're doing it. Some of you people who are really good probably already guessed it just from this video. But yeah, so we're going to get started on cosplay over the next month. And I hope you guys enjoy it.